Today's bright weather won't last through the weekend, timing out a round of snow and how much could fall in the early morning forecast. Connecticut's recreational marijuana program is up and almost ready to go. On January 10th, you'll be able to come to a dispensary like this and buy marijuana as long as you're 21. Plus, cases of flu on the rise. More people now in the hospital. What you can do to protect you and your family. Next at 6. From WFSB, Connecticut's number one local news, this is Channel 3 Eyewitness News at 6. First up right now at 6 o'clock, we're starting with your early warning weather heading outside in Hartford, New Haven, New London, and Torrington. It was a calm, chilly day today. Not too, too bad, but right now we are waiting for some snow coming our way over the weekend. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us right now for Eyewitness News tonight at 6. I'm Mark Sinney. Some of us could see a few inches when all is said and done by Sunday into Monday. Mark has uh, more on the timing for us right now. He's joining us first up tonight with more details on what he's been watching now for several days. Right, Mark? Yes, uh, this has been an evolving situation. Uh, snow certainly looking likely before the weekend is up, but no issues this evening, tonight, or tomorrow. So here's the latest on our early warning weather alert from Sunday afternoon into very early Monday morning is when we're going to see that light accumulating snow. The, uh, the most snow is going to be measured across the higher terrain of northern and northwest Connecticut, kind of a uh, fairly familiar situation for us as these uh, winter systems unfold. Uh, but as we head into the Wednesday morning commute, roads could be slick, especially on those untreated surfaces. So I want to give you that early warning here on a Friday night as you head back to work and school on Monday. Uh, there may be some issues on the roads. And of course, uh, Jill and Lauren will be here all weekend long keeping you updated. So here's future cash showing the clear conditions this evening as we head into the overnight hours remaining clear too. So tomorrow we'll start off dry and all of tomorrow will be dry, but the bright sky in the morning is not going to last long. Cloud cover from off the ocean with a developing northeasterly flow will spread westward across our state. Then as we head into Sunday, clouds to start otherwise dry. Then from the west, we've got a quick moving qui uh, clipper-like system that's going to be approaching and that's going to spread scattered snow showers across the state from the afternoon into the evening hours lasting into very early Monday morning. So by the time we get to the Monday morning commute, according to an inch for coastal and southeastern Connecticut, farther inland on either side of 84, around one to three inches, including the greater Hartford area, get into the higher elevations of northwest Hartford County and northern Litchfield County, uh, we could see some three-inch totals with some locally higher amounts. Temperature-wise for tomorrow, a cold start in the 20s and the low 30s at the shoreline will likely touch 40 early in the afternoon tomorrow. Then by Sunday, as the snow becomes likely, temperatures only top out in the 30s. We'll have much more on the weekend, of course, and beyond in the early warning seven day. Okay, we'll see you in a few minutes, Mark. Thank you very much. Right now in New at 6, recreational pot shops are almost open for business. Starting January 10th, you'll be able to buy legal weed at nine dispensaries, but how much can you buy and how much will you be spending? Chief political reporter Susan Raff has more. Connecticut's first legal cannabis stores will open next month. Affinity will more than double its business, selling medical weed at one window, recreational at another. Everything gets stored overnight in a vault. Nothing is left out. Uh, big misconception is that there's jars of products staying out that everyone could touch and sniff. There's none of that available. As long as you are 21 and can show a government picture ID, you will be able to buy adult use cannabis. You will only be able to buy a quarter of an ounce at first, but as suppliers and dispensaries grow, the amount will be up to an ounce. Unlike medical weed, adult use will be taxed 20%. Much of the revenue will go to the state's general fund, but it will also help communities hardest hit by crime and drugs. Nine dispensaries will roll out the program, but as many as 100 businesses are looking to get up and running. This week in Hartford, there was a cannabis convention. Vendors were showcasing everything from security systems to financial services. Ray Pantelena never thought he would be selling marijuana. No, I didn't. I've been a pharmacist my whole life. Um, so. It was very different when the opportunity uh, presented itself to for a medical marijuana dispensary. We're still taking care of patients. We're still using, we're improving their lives. That was Susan Raff reporting tonight. The nine dispensaries will be open starting January 10th again. And for a closer look at where you can find them, we have all the information posted right now on the Channel 3 app. 
Now, across the United States, on average, it's about fourfold the amount of hospitalization you would normally see for flu at this time of the year. It's a very early and aggressive flu season. Doctors right here in Connecticut sounding the alarm as New York State is seeing a dramatic rise in flu cases and flu hospitalizations have more than doubled there. So what is the outlook looking like here in Connecticut? Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio is joining us live right now. She is outside Hartford Healthcare in Hartford with more tonight. Patricia. Hi, Mark. Well, in Connecticut, we could see a real increase as well. The numbers are already on the rise here, not to the same, not to the same extent as New York, but of course, they're a bellwether for us because there's so much travel in between the two states, and doctors say we could see a real spike over the next few weeks. Flu cases are continuing to rise, and we are really at our worst flu season that we've had in about 10 years since the H1N1 pandemic. Connecticut's commissioner of the Department of Public Health making it clear today that we are in the midst of a bad flu season, and it could get worse. New York seeing its flu hospitalizations double over the past two weeks. We ask the Assistant Director of Infectious Diseases at Hartford Hospital if Connecticut is headed in the same direction. Yeah, so usually we would start to see like things getting really interesting, at least in this part of the country, in like the January or, or so, because it usually gets in very timidly at this time of the year. But this year, starting in November, we've been seeing a lot of flu activity, and uh, it's already leading to hospitalizations and death. Doctors predict flu numbers will get even worse over the next few weeks as people travel and gather for the holidays. And it's not just the flu on the rise. Dr. Gregory Buller, associate chief medical officer of the Yale Health System, says COVID cases are rising even more so. So, you know, we continue to have um, significantly more people dying as a result of COVID than as a result of influenza. Only a handful of people in the state. I think seven at last count have actually uh, unfortunately died due to influenza. But at that same time, they're averaging about 50 some deaths uh, a month of, from COVID. Now, the one bright spot in this so-called triple-demic of flu, COVID, and RSV is that health experts say that RSV is way down. Now, as far as flu, doctors are saying one of the best things you can try to do is to not touch your eyes and your nose. And as far as the flu shot, they highly recommend it. They say that some years the flu shot is not as effective as hitting, uh, hitting all the strains, but they say this year's flu shot is very very much on target with that strain, and they recommend getting it as soon as possible. Live in Hartford, I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Patricia, thank you very much. Well, just in time for the holiday season, some much welcome savings coming our way. Gas prices have been steadily dropping. Here in Connecticut, the average price for a gallon of regular now is three forty-three. That's down 14 cents from a week ago and 36 cents from a month ago, and we're actually paying less right now than at this point last year when the average was 3.53 a gallon. That's great news. It's been very high recently and it'd be really nice if it was lower. Yes, I agree with her for sure. I think we all do. Experts say we could see the average dip below $3 a gallon by Christmas and the price of home heating oil could also come down over the next few weeks. All new right now at 6, Connecticut's been awarded more than $32 million that will help support the newly launched Office of Public Health Workforce Development. The federal grant comes from the CDC. Some of the money will also go to support local health departments all over the state. State leaders say the need to support public health services has grown since the pandemic. We need a public health team that are capable of addressing um, not just what we've seen in the past, but what we see going forward. Now the money will be distributed to the departments over the next five years. Coming up next for you right here at 6, a very special holiday toy drive being held in one Connecticut town. How a local farm is giving back to those who need it the most. And also ahead, you don't want to miss this. Our tour of Holiday Lights continues. Tonight we're making a stop in Dayville, an absolutely beautiful location when we come back. Winter storm.
Storm Elsa. Two feet of snow, over 160,000 families left in the dark. Only one station gave you the early warning to that historic storm. So who's got the team and technology to get you through what's next? Channel 3. We get out in it. Drive it. Track it like no one else can. Mark Dixon and the early warning weather team help you plan days in advance. From the first flakes to the final plow. Nobody knows Connecticut winners like Channel 3 early warning weather. <laughs> Surprise! It's a new Buick. Mm -hmm. You got me a new Buick? Oh. And there are more gifts inside. You got me the head up display. Wow! It's a massaging seat. Okay, okay, what next? Alexa, turn on holiday lights. This year, give the gift of technology in every Buick SUV. It's the holidays. Get 3.99% APR and no monthly payments for 90 days on these Buick SUV models. This holiday, give them a gift they'll never, ever forget. Oh my God! In three, two, one! Are you serious? The gift of furniture. This is not what I think I like. Kids just don't understand. Find the holiday door in a Bob's Discount Furniture near you. Wishing you a wonderful holiday season from all of us here at Channel 3. You're watching Channel 3 Eyewitness News with Aaron Connolly, Mark Zinni, and early warning weather with Chief Meteorologist Mark Dixon. Now, Eyewitness News at 6 continues. Welcome back, everybody. A local farm in the town of Bolton is doing their part to make the holidays a little more special for children. They're actually holding a holiday toy drive. This right here is the scene. This was at Lindale Farms on Boston Turnpike. The owners at the farm are working with the United Methodist Church and St. George Church for the toy drive. Owners say it's very important to give back to those in need this time of year. We also, from Scott's Tree Farm, receive trees. So part of the uh, proceeds from the trees are going to both the churches. We hope uh, to really help out as many p families as we can this holiday year. Well, certainly a great mission, that's for sure. Again, the toy drive is being held right now. Tomorrow, you can also meet Santa Claus at the farm from 10 until 4. Now to New Haven this afternoon, where a very special toy drive was held earlier in the day. This was the scene at the Chaz and AJ toy drive. You see that guy right there? That's Scott Haney. He was lifted about 75 feet in the air in a bucket truck to celebrate everything that was going on. Everybody had so much fun. And listen to this. They were looking for about $10,000. They got more than $106,000 in cash and toys all collected. It will be given out to various local charities. They do so much great work there. Great job to everybody. Still to come for you right here, our tour of the Holiday Lights continues as we make a stop in Dayville. And it's certainly going to have a more festive feel to the weekend as we close it out with snow becoming likely. The timeline and how much could add up all ahead in the early warning forecast when Eyewitness News at 6 continues. Medical Rounds, helping you live your best life. Featuring breakthroughs, life-saving techniques, and health news you can really use from the local experts at Hartford HealthCare. Watch Medical Rounds, Wednesday nights at 5.30 on Eyewitness News. GMC Terrain. Ready for any terrain. Premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. It's the holidays. Get 3.9% APR and no monthly payments for 90 days on terrain models. We are professional grade GMC. Now it's official. Xfinity has the fastest internet and the fastest mobile service. That's right. Xfinity just increased internet speeds again. And Xfinity Mobile gives you can't catch me speeds. Plus, save hundreds on the internet for your first two years when you add mobile. The fastest internet, the fastest mobile service, and major savings? Can't argue with the facts. Get internet for $30 a month for two full years when you add Xfinity Mobile. Or get $200 back when you upgrade to gig. Switch today. <laughs>
Get exclusive offers on select new Volvo models. Contact your Volvo retailer to learn more. Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. All right, of course, we're ending the week on a pretty comfortable note. A lot of sunshine today. In fact, basically cloud-free. Temperatures still running a little bit above average. We need colder air to have snow, and there's certainly some on the way, and that snow becomes likely by Sunday afternoon into Sunday night, and then uh, wraps up by early Monday morning. We are expecting a, a minor accumulation of snow, the most in the higher elevations of northern and northwest Connecticut. And by the Monday morning commute, untreated surfaces could become slick. So just want to give you that early warning heading back to Work and school, something that we really don't want to think about on a Friday evening, but uh, it's what we do here. We want to, you know, allow you to, to plan accordingly. So right now we're looking great from a top part for 2140 in our capital city, uh, looking toward the east and southeast over the top of the Traveler's Tower there and from New Haven, a quiet evening underway in the Elm City where we're at 42 degrees, down to 31 right now in Salisbury, 33 Torrington, 36 Willimantic, and 37 in Norwich, still close to 40 from many spots along the 95 quarter. North northwesterly breeze is making to feel a tad chillier. Wind chill values in the 30s statewide throughout western and northeast Connecticut. We've got uh, wind chill values down into the 20s. So that wind is not going to entirely relax tonight, but temperatures will trend uh, certainly well into the 20s across inland Connecticut as we head through the overnight hours, closer to 30 for the shoreline. So we're, we've been quiet and enjoying lots of sun here across Connecticut today and really region wide, but clouds offshore will be heading in our direction. We've got a storm system up across the uh, Connecticut. Canadian Maritimes that will be sinking southward. We've got high pressure tomorrow to our north. Between the two, a northeasterly ocean flow will be developing, spreading cloudiness here across Connecticut as our Saturday moves forward. Then for Sunday, we're looking westward. We've got a quick moving uh, clipper type system that's going to be developing across the Great Lakes, swinging in our direction, bringing some of that accumulating snow uh, here across southern New England as we head Sunday afternoon into Monday morning. This area of low pressure moves offshore quickly on Monday and then rapidly develops as it moves offshore. So by Monday afternoon, we're going to break out into a partly to, to mostly sunny sky. So overnight tonight, forecasting temperatures in the low and mid-20s inland, again, upper 20s to near 30 along the 95 corridor. We will start the day tomorrow with some sun, but as the day moves forward, those clouds move in from east to west. So uh, tomorrow's a dry day. Certainly cooler than today, 35 to near 40 inland low 40s along the 95 corridor. And then for our Sunday, and here comes the scattered snow showers from the west crossing the lower Hudson Valley into Connecticut by, say, mid-afternoon, kind of ramping up as we head into Sunday night. And then by Monday morning, you can see how all the snow begins to taper off as it is winding down as that low pressure system moves offshore. And then we'll see, again, increasing sunshine as we head into our Monday. Uh, so with regard to how much snow we can see, a coating to an inch, and this is what we're seeing right now. Of course, uh, Lauren and Jill will be here all weekend long updating uh, this evolving situation. The WFSB weather app, also a great uh, resource to stay updated. Uh, we've got a coating to an inch on the map now for coastal and southeast Connecticut. Farther inland and basically on either side of I-84 and up throughout the uh, quiet corner, uh, one, two, perhaps three inches of snow. You get into the higher elevations of, say, uh, northwestern Hartford County, northern Litchfield County, three inches with some locally higher amounts. So once we get past early Monday morning, increasing sun highs, though, Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, only in the 30s. And even as we head toward the end of next week, temperatures only close to, say, the 40 degree mark. So basically a period here of temperatures for several days running below average for shoreline highs right into the upper 30s and low 40s. And after Sunday night, our next chance for some wet, perhaps wintry precip may not come until next Friday, but there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding that. We'll keep you updated in the days ahead. Well, certainly looking a lot more like wintertime, Mark. Thank you very much. Well, all season long, we're taking a closer look at some of the really great holiday displays from all over the state. Channel 3 meteorologist Jill Gillardi continues our coverage tonight with the bright lights in Dayville. It is certainly a winter wonderland out here. So many lights, so much to see, and I know it takes a long time. I, I don't doubt that. And back with us again is Dan. Dan, tell us, how long does it take to set up this wonderland and how many lights? So we start set up uh, the week of Labor Day in September. Um, so it's just about three months of setup all the way through till Thanksgiving. And this year we have over 185,000 LEDs on the property. Very impressive. And what's more impressive is what you're going to be doing this weekend for folks. Absolutely. Um, we've always partnered with Make-A-Wish Connecticut. They've been one of our tried and true partners. Um, this weekend is Wish Night. And we'll have the Make-A-Wish Monster Truck here on site. Uh, and just highlighting what Make-A-Wish does for children across the state. 
And then on uh, Sunday, if you need a wreath for your door, well, you're in luck. Yes, the uh, local scouts pack right here in Killingly uh, will be selling wreaths, and uh, those proceeds will be benefiting them. Awesome. Thank you so much. Of course, if you'd like more information, uh, the time that they're open, things like that, I do know that they have a Facebook page. You can go check that out. So, again, reporting live out in Dayville at Amaranti's Winter Wonderland. I'm meteorologist Jill Gillardi, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Back oh, to that you. That is really great. Jill, thank you so much. Right now, we do want to check out some more holiday lights from all over. First First up right here, look at this. A picture sent to us from Chris and Ruth and Higginham. A great job right here. It's a tractor trailer completely covered in lights. A tractor in the yard. That's great. Next up, we have a picture from Rocky Hill. This one sent to us by Michael. A beautiful job right there with the uh, front yard decorations and the house all lit up. We know so many of you are decorating your homes, maybe even this weekend. Looks like tomorrow's the better day to do that. If you do, send us a picture using the Channel 3 app. And stay with us tonight for Eyewitness News at 7. Tomorrow is state championship Saturday in high school football. We'll have a full preview of all six title games. On this Friday night, Brittany Griner lands back in America after nearly 300 days in Russian captivity. The new details about why Griner cut her hair to avoid freezing. Plus, our exclusive with Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, why she is warning that data on America's teens could end up in the hands of the Chinese government. And we go on the road with the triumphant return of the dancing grannies. That's all tonight, right here on the CBS Evening News. At Chevy, the holidays mean going places and doing things you love to do with friends and family. Visit your local Chevy dealer, and when you find your red tag, you find your deal. Then make the most of your time with the people who matter most. Find new moments, find new roads. Find your red tag and get $1,500 total cash allowance on all 2022 Silverado pickups with a 2.7 liter turbo engine. Plus, current Chevy owners get an additional $2,500 cash allowance. Visit your Connecticut Chevy dealer. Caring for someone with special needs is about love and protection. Your love comes naturally, but assuring them a quality life and financial security after you're gone can be a challenge. With a special needs trust, Sepiga Ili Pope and Perry can help you preserve money without jeopardizing important public benefits, providing your loved one a secure future and you peace of mind. Sepiga Ili Pope and Perry. Let us be your advocate. For gifts that win this season, shop unbeatable deals at Dick's Warehouse Sales Store. Take an additional 40% off apparel and 25% off footwear from top brands. These deals are going fast at Dick's Warehouse Sales Store. Extreme times call for extreme measures. Pilgrim is pushing savings to the limit during the extreme savings sale. Save 50 to 70% plus get up to 60 months special financing with no money down. Only at Pilgrim Furniture and Mattress City. Your list delivered. Now with same day delivery. When you shop online or on the app, from our cart to your home, order for same day delivery. Stop and shop. Feed the moment. As your kids get older, you start to see things a little differently. College, which once seemed down the road, suddenly seems right around the corner. But with the Chet 529 College Savings Account, you'll be ready. It's easy to get started, there's no minimum to open, and you can receive an additional state tax deduction. So call 888-799-2438 to learn more, or visit us at aboutchat.com. It's Globetrotter game time. Get ready for the Harlem Globetrotters 2023 World Tour. Presented by Jersey Mike Subs. All new, non-stop action, amazing basketball skills, four-point shots, high-flying dunks, and more. Get tickets for the whole family, where you can be part of the action. Playing XL Center in Total Mortgage Arena December 27th and 31st. Go to harlemglobetrotters.com slash CT. This week, stop and shop for great deals. Stop and shop or cook's spiral sliced ham are 99 cents per pound. Plus, we'll match any advertised ham price with no gimmicks guaranteed. Doritos, Cheetos, or Fritos are $1.97 each when you buy three with a digital coupon. Stop and shop. Feed the moment. 
Going town by town right now at 6, heading first to Bristol, where a brand new business venture is opening soon. It's called the Bristol Bazaar, and you'll find it here on Ray Street. It'll feature as many as 40 local artists, craft vendors, and other small businesses, all as tenants. We're told it will be open year-round. Sounds pretty cool. Let's head to Old Saybrook right now, where a very special holiday open house will be held in town tomorrow, right at the police station. Families can come and get a tour of the station and meet some police officers, even the police canine sky. Santa Claus will also be stopping by, we're told. It's from noon until 3, right there on Lynn Street. It's free to get in, but a new unwrapped toy for the uh, toy drive would certainly be appreciated. All right, if you're going to go cut down a Connecticut-grown Christmas tree, if you're going to do outdoor decorating, tomorrow is the better of the two weekend days. By Sunday, you'll want to do the indoor decorating. It's, it's not a, a blowout. Uh, you know, it's by the afternoon that some scattered snow begins overspreading the, the state. So it's not a loss of a day by any means, so you can still get out. But do uh, prepare for some snow to increase in coverage as we head toward Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. It quickly winds down by the Monday morning commute. But by then, we could see over three inches of snow, especially in those higher elevations of northwest Connecticut. In around Hartford, 84, the quiet corner, one to three inches, coastal southeast Connecticut, a coating to an inch. So kind of, you know, some, some festive snow, but also a little bit of a nuisance by the time we get to the, the Monday morning commute. And thereafter, it's just going to be chilly. Like a sprinkling of snow, a getting us ready. Of snow. Oh, right. All exactly. right. Mark, thank you. Of course. Thank you very much for joining us tonight for Eyewitness News here at 6. We'll see you tonight at 7 and 11. Have a great weekend, everybody. Till the end of the day, more people watch Eyewitness News than any other source. This is not an accident for breaking news. News is found. Suspected killer now behind bars. Investigations that get results. Cheap doesn't always mean better. And solutions to make ends meet. You actually waste more energy. Most watched every newscast every day thanks to you. Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Connecticut's number one local news. At the Volkswagen Sign Then Drive event, you can make maintenance cost worries so last year. Hurry in during the Sign Then Drive event and give you